dear students in this video you are going to learn about nth term of an ap see here look at the sequence 5, 7, 9, 11 and it goes on is it in ap see here 5 7 9 11 what is the difference between two adjacent terms yes it is 2 here difference between 9 and 7 is 2 difference between 11 and 9 is 2 so common differences are equal therefore it is an AP which is the first term here first term is 5 first term is denoted by a first term is 5 what is the difference between two consecutive terms that is common difference is plus 2 7 minus 5 is plus 2 9 minus 7 is plus 2 11 minus 9 is plus 2 so common difference is 2 common difference is denoted by d which is the second term here second term is 7 second term is denoted by a2 second term is denoted by a2 what is the relationship between second term first term and the common difference if i add 5 and 2 i will get 7 so a plus d is equal to 7 5 plus 2 is equal to 7 that is is equal to a plus d a is 5 d is plus 2 if i add a and d i will get a2 second term which is the third term here third term is this is the third term 9 is the third term denoted by a3 what is the relationship between the first term and the common difference for the first term we have to add 2 twice see here 5 plus 2 plus 2 then you will get 9 so 9 is equal to 5 plus 2 how many times 2 times 2 into 2 that is 5 plus 2d a plus 2d so third term is a plus 2d which is the fourth term here fourth term is denoted by a4 here fourth term is 11 what is the relationship between first term and the common differences how many twos we can we have to add to 5 to get 11 5 plus how many twos here 1 2 3 so 2 into 3 plus 5 is equal to 11 so 5 plus 3 times of 2 is equal to 11 that is a plus how many times d 3d is equal to fourth term this is an infinite ap so it goes on what will be the nth term nth term is denoted by second term is denoted by a2 third term is denoted by a3 fourth term is denoted by a4 so nth term is denoted by a n how to find a n a n is equal to see here second term is equal to a plus d third term is a plus 2 d so fourth term is a plus 3 d so nth term a n is equal to we have a plus because in all the terms we have a plus then 
look at the coefficient of d for second term coefficient of d is 1 what is there along with the 1 is there so 1d third term is we have 2d for fourth term we have 3d for fifth term we will have 4d for sixth term we'll have 5d and for nth term we will have n minus 1 into d because 3 is 1 less than 4, 2 is 1 less than 3, 1 is 1 less than 2. So n minus 1 means 1 less than n. So nth term a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. This is the formula to find nth term of an AP. So nth term of the AP a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. What is a here? a is the first term, d is the common difference. a n is also called general term of the AP. a n is called nth term of the AP and it is also called general term of the AP. If you told to find general term of the AP, then you have to find a n. And if there are n number of terms, if the total number of the terms in an AP is n, then a n is also called the last term of the AP. If there are n number of terms, then a n is also called the last term of the AP, denoted by L. Now we know the formula for a n. a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. So now see here we have a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. Now you can easily write like this. See a 9 means ninth term is equal to a plus 1 less than n. Here n is 9. So a plus a d. So ninth term will be a plus a d. Tenth term will be a plus 9 d. Hundredth term will be a plus 99 d. Here you have to write 1 less than n a 100 is equal to a plus 90 90 a 50 is equal to a plus 49 d so you can easily write nth term by using this formula remember this formula to solve the coming problems so nth term of the ap is a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d a9 is equal to a plus 8d, a10 is equal to a plus 9d, a100 is equal to a plus 99d, a50 is equal to a plus 49d. These are the examples. Now, let us solve the problems based on nth term of the AP. Now find the tenth term of the AP 2 comma 8 comma 14 comma 20. Now here AP is given. Write the given AP. AP is equal to 2 comma 8 comma 14 comma 20 and it goes on from this ap what we can write we can write the first term first term is denoted by a first term is 2 and we can write common difference common difference formula is a2 minus a1 
that is a2 is second term is 8, first term is 2, so 8 minus 2 is 6. If the AP is given, we can write first term and the common difference. Then what we have told to find? We told to find 10th term of the AP. So let us find 10th term. 10th term is denoted by A10. Formula is, what is the formula for An? An is a plus n minus 1 into d. So a10 is equal to, in the place of n, we have to substitute 10. What is a? a is 2 plus, what is n? See here, n is 10 minus 1 into d. d is 6. So a10 is equal to, 2 plus 10 minus 1 is 9 into 6. See here, 2 plus 9 into 6. We have to apply Bodmer's rule here. In Bodmer's rule, we have to multiply. Then we have to add. First multiply. 2 plus, write as it is, 9, 6 are 54. 2 plus 54 is 56. Therefore, 10th term of the given AP is 56. equal to 56. Now, look at the next question. Which term of the AP 21, 18, 15 is minus 81 and is any term 0. Now AP is given. Write down the AP. AP is 21, 18, 15 and it goes on like this. Now if the AP is given we can write two things. That is we can write first term. First term is and we can write common difference D. That is second term minus first term. So D is equal to second term is 18 minus 21. So D 18 minus 21 is minus 3. Here this is plus 18 minus 21. Two numbers have different sign. So subtract. 21 minus 18 is 3. Put the bigger number sign. That is minus 3. So D is equal to minus 3. Now which term of the AP is minus 81? Here it is given that minus 81 is a term of the AP. But we don't know which term of the AP is minus 1. Minus 81. So minus 81 is the term of the AP. So we have to take an is equal to minus 81. Some term of the AP is minus 81. We have to find which term of the AP is minus 81. Now, we have the formula for An. What is the formula for An? That is A plus N minus 1 into D. Write the formula for An under An. An is equal to A plus N minus 1 into D is equal to minus 81. What is A? A is 21 plus, we don't know N, we have to find N. Minus 1, what is D? D is minus 3 into minus 3 is equal to minus 81. So 21, see here, minus 3 should be multiplied for both n and minus 1. n minus 1 is a binomial, multiply by minus 3. Minus 3 into n is minus 3n, minus 3 into minus 1, that is plus 3. 3 into 1 is 3, minus into minus is plus, is equal to minus 81. 
Look at the left hand side, LHS. See there are like terms, numbers are there, 21 and 3. 21 plus 3 is 24 minus 3n is equal to minus 81. Now we have to solve for n. We have to find the value of n. So take the remaining terms to the right side. First we have to take 24. That is minus 3n is equal to minus 81. There is plus 24 on the LHS. So that becomes minus 24. Minus 3n is equal to both numbers have same sign. So minus only 81 and 24. We have to add here because having same sign. 105. So n is equal to minus 105 divided by minus 3 into n on the LHS. That becomes divided by. So minus by minus is plus 105 by 3. 3 threes are 9. 1 remains 3 fives are 15. Therefore n is equal to 35. Therefore we have to write 35th term is how much minus 81. Minus 81 is the 35th term. Which term of the AP is minus 81? 35th term of the AP is minus 81. Now we have to find is any term 0? We have to check whether 0 is there in this list of numbers. That is 21, 18, 15. Is there 0 in this list? For that, take an is equal to 0. Take 0 as a term of the AP. Let us check. Now, what is the formula for an? a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 0. What is a? 21 plus we don't know n. What is d? Minus 3 is equal to 0. Now 21 multiplied by minus 3 for both the terms minus 3n minus into minus plus 3 is equal to 0. 21 plus 3 is 24 minus 3n is equal to 0. So take 24 to the RHS it is 0 minus 24 plus 24 on the LHS it becomes minus 24. So minus 3n is equal to 0 minus 24 is minus 24. So n is equal to minus 24 divided by minus 3. Minus minus cancels 3 eights are 24. We got the value of n is 8. Therefore 8 term AP is 0. 8 term of the AP is 0. Therefore 0 is there in the list of numbers of this AP. If we won't get n as a whole number then it is not a term. Here we got n as a whole number therefore 0 is the term of the AP. If you are getting fraction or decimal in the place of n, then it is not a term. Now check whether 301 is a term of the list of numbers 5, 11, 17, 23. First check whether it is an AP or not. It is given that the list of numbers. Okay, first write the list of numbers. Five, eleven, seventeen, twenty-three. 
If the list of numbers are given, first we have to check whether it is an AP or not. Then we have to apply the formula. See here. What is the difference between 11 and 5? 11 minus 5. A2 minus A1 is how much? 11 minus 5 is 6. Then see A3 minus A2. That is 17 minus 11. That is also 6. Now A4 minus A3. 23 minus 17. That is also 6. Therefore, it is an AP. What is the AP now? 5, 11, 17, 23. Now this is an AP. After writing the AP, then you can write first term that is A. Which is the first term here? 5. Now write the common difference. Common difference we have found found already that is a2 minus a1 is 11 minus 5 is equal to 6 so common difference d is equal to 6 now we have to check whether 301 is a term of the ap or not now to check this let us take an is equal to 301 let us assume 3 301 is a term of the AP. From this, let us find the value of n. Now, a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. Write the formula of a n under a n is equal to 301. Now, what is a 5 plus, we don't know n, minus 1. What is D? D is 6 is equal to 301. So 5 plus 6 to be multiplied for, for both 6n minus 6 is equal to 301. 5 minus 6 is minus 1 plus 6n is equal to 301. So 6n is equal to 301 plus 1. Minus 1 becomes plus 1. I'll do here. 6n is equal to 301 plus 1. That is 302. So n is equal to 302 by 6. 2 3s are 2 15s are 30. 2 1s are. So, n is equal to 151 by 3. 151 is not divisible by 3. So, n is 151 by 3. We got the value of n in the fraction form. Therefore, 301 is not a term of the given AP. 301 is not there in the list of 5, 11, 17, 23. Next, find the nth term of AP. AP is 7, 11, 15, 19. Find the nth term. Now, if the AP is given, I told you, you can write A, that is first term is 7. You can write D, that is A2 minus A1, that is 11 minus 7. 11 minus 7 is 4. So, D is equal to 4. Now, find the nth term. Nth term is denoted by AN. Formula for AN is A plus n minus 1 into d. Now substitute the formula. Substitute in the formula the value of a and d. That is value of a is 7 plus n we don't know d is 4. 
so an is equal to 7 plus multiply by 4 4 n 4 into n 4 n 4 into minus 1 is minus 4 so an is equal to 7 minus 4 is 3 7 minus 4 is 3 plus 4 n this is the nth term of the given ap value of n is not given so we can't find so n the term of the ap is 3 plus 4 n now find the number of terms in the ap 17 23 29 35 till 305 Here this is an finite AP because we know the last term. Last term is 305. First write the AP. AP is 17, 23, 29, 35 up to 305. Now if the AP is given, we can write A. What is A? First term is 17. First term is A. A is 17. D. Formula for D is A2 minus A1. So D is 23 minus 17. 23 minus 17 is 6. So D is 6. Now find the number of terms. Here 305 is the last term. I told you if we know the number of terms, last term is denoted by an. An is equal to 305. There are n number of terms. Therefore, an is the last term. So an is equal to 305. Take an is equal to 305. Then substitute in the formula. What is an? An is a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 305. What is a? a is 17 plus. What is n? We don't know. Minus 1 into d. What is d? 6 is equal to 305. So 17 plus. 6n, 6 to be multiplied for both, remember this, 6n minus 6 is equal to 305. Now 17 minus 6 like terms, 17 minus 6 is 11 plus 6n is equal to 305. So 6n is equal to take 11 to the right side, 305 minus 11. So 6n is equal to 294. n is equal to 294 by 6. 6 ones are 6. 4 are 24. 24 means here 5 remains. This becomes 54. 6 nines are 54. So n is equal to 49. So what is the number of terms in the given AP? Number of terms is equal to 49. See here, find the 11th term from the last term. From the last term means towards the first term of the AP. 10, 7, 4 up to minus 62. Now the given AP is 10, 7, 4 up to minus 62. Now we have to find the 11th term from the last term from this side means we have to consider minus 62 as the first term 
if it told to find nth term from the last term, reverse this AP. Write the AP is like this. Minus 62, write the first term. Then it goes on. Here 4, 7, 10. Reverse the AP. If you told to find the nth term from the last term, that is towards the first term. From the last term, towards the first term. Now in this AP, write the first term. A is equal to, what is the first term? Minus 62. And what is the common difference? To write the formula A2, minus A1, we don't have A2 here. So, subtract two consecutive terms here. We have, we can substitute 4 from 7 or 7 from 10. minus 7 that is 3 so d is equal to 3 10 minus 7 is 3 or 7 minus 4 is 3 now find the 11th term 11th term is denoted by 11 is how much we have to find what is the formula for nth term a plus n minus 1 into d so what is the 11th term a plus 10 d nth term is a plus n minus 1 into d 11th term is a plus 10 d 1 less than n if 11 here, here it is 10. Now, A11 is equal to, what is A minus 62 plus 10 into, what is D? 3. So, A11 is equal to minus 62 plus 30. Minus 62 plus 30. That is minus 32. Therefore, 11th term from the last term of the given AP is is equal to minus 32. Now, how many two digit numbers are divisible by three? Which is the first number in the list of two digit numbers? 10 is the first number in the list of two digit number. And the last number in the list of two digit number is 99. The next number 100 is a three digit number. So 10 to 99 are two digit numbers. Now here we have to take two digit numbers which are divisible by 3. Now 10 is not divisible by 3. Look at the next number 11. It is also not divisible by 3. Look at the next one 12. It is divisible by 3. 12. So first two digit number which is divisible by 3 is 12. After that 15. We have to add 3 because the numbers divisible by 3 after that 18 so difference is 3 which is the last number in the list of two digit numbers which is divisible by 3 see this one 99 is it divisible by 3 3 3 is 9 3 3 is 9 yes 99 is divisible by 3 therefore 99 is the last two digit number which is divisible by Three. Now this is an AP because these are all the multiples of 3. So the difference between two consecutive numbers is 3. Therefore AP is 12, 15, 18 up to 99. Now 
if the AP is given, we can write the first term. It is 12. What is the common difference? This is the list of numbers which are divisible by 3. So common difference, obviously, it is 3 because the difference is 3. A2 minus A1, that is 15 minus 12 is equal to 3. Now we have to find how many two digit numbers are divisible by 3. Means we have to find n. What is 99 here? We have to take it as last term. So an is equal to 99. We have the formula for an. a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 99. What is a? 12 plus we don't know n minus 1. What is d? d is 3 is equal to 99. So 12 plus 3n minus 3 into n is 3n. 3 into minus 1 is 3 is equal to 99. 12 minus 3 is 9 plus 3n is equal to 99. 3n is equal to 99 minus 9. 3n is equal to 90. That implies n is equal to 90 by 3. That is 30. Therefore, how many two digit numbers? 30 two digit numbers. are divisible by 3. How many numbers between 100 and 200? Between 100 to 200 are divisible by 6. Now we have to write numbers between 100 to 200. In that list we have to write the numbers which are divisible by 6 now 100 is 100 is divisible by 6 no 6 ones are 6 4 means 6 6 are 36 but it is 40 here so to make uh, how much we have to add to 100 to make it divisible by 6, we have to add 2. Because 6, 6 are 36. 36 means 4 is the remainder here. So to make the remainder 0, we have to add 2. So that 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. That is divisible by 6. So 102 is divisible by 6. Check it now. 6, 1s are 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 42. 4 remains, so this becomes 42. 6, 7s are 42. So 102 is divisible by 6. If you write the first number, then you can write it easily. The next number will be 6 more because it is divisible by 6. 108. Next number will be 6 more, 114 and it goes on. Now find the last number. Now see here, 200 is not divisible by 6, 6 ones are 6, 3s are 18, here 2 remains, this becomes 20, 6 3s are 18, here 2 remains, that we have to subtract from. 200. So 200 minus 2 is 198. So last number which is visible by 6 between 100 and 200 is 198. Now this is an AP. 
this is the ap now in the ap you can write the first term that is 102 common difference is 108 minus 102 that is 6 now 198 is the last term so n is equal to 198 formula for a n is a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 198 what is a 102 plus n minus 1 into d that is into 6 is equal to 198 now 102 plus 6 n minus 6 is equal to 198 now 102 minus 6 is how much 196 plus 6 n is equal to not 196 that is One or two minus six is ninety six plus six n is equal to one ninety eight. So six n is equal to one ninety eight minus ninety six. That is six n is equal to one or two. So n is equal to one or two by six. 6106 seven. so how many numbers between 100 to 200 are divisible by 6 17 numbers between 100 and 200 are divisible by Six. Now, how many numbers from 500 to 650 are divisible by 4? Now, 500 to 650. Now, see here, in the previous problem, it is given between. Means we have not to consider these numbers if it is given between. How many numbers between 500 to 650 are divisible by 4 means? If these are divisible by 4, then we have, we should not consider. If, but it is given that how many numbers from 500 to 650 are divisible by 4. If 500 is divisible by 4, then we have to consider this number. If it is given between then we should not consider. Let us check whether it is divisible by 4 or not. 4. 4 ones are 4. Then 4 twos are 8. 4 fives are. Yes, 500 is divisible by 4. So we have to consider 500 here because it is given from 500. If it is given between 500, then we should not consider. We have to take the next number. Then after 500, we can write 504, 508 because it is divisible by 4. So the common difference will be 4. Now let us check 650. Is it divisible by 4? 4 ones are 4. 5, 6, 2 remains. 4, 6 are 24. 1 remains. 4, 2 are 8. 2 remains. So we have to subtract 4 ones are 4, 5, 6, 25 here, 4 6 are 24, 1 remains, 10 here, 4 2 are 8, so 2 remains. That we have to subtract from 650 so that it is divisible by 4. So 650 minus 4 is 648.
after right thing check it once 41046464628 as 648 is divisible by 4 now this is an ap now a is 500 d is 504 minus 500 that is 4 now we have to take an is equal to 648 last term is 648 formula for an is a plus n minus 1 into d that is 648 what is a 500 plus n minus 1 into d d is 4 648 so 500 plus 4n minus 4 is equal to 648 500 minus 4 is 496 plus 4n is equal to 648 so 4n is equal to 648 minus 496 So four n is equal to one fifty two. So n is equal to one fifty two by four. Four three is not there. Four thirteen fourteen fifteen three. Remains thirty two. Four eights are thirty two. So thirty eight numbers from five hundred to six fifty are divisible by four. Look at the difference between the between and from. If between is given, we should not consider the given numbers. If it is given from, we have to consider the numbers if it is divisible. Now, next question is: Determine the AP whose third term is five and seventh term is nine. Third term is five. Third term is five. Third term is denoted by a three is equal to five, and seventh term is nine. Seventh term is equal to nine. No need of writing the formula here. You can write directly. Third term is a plus two d is equal to five. Seventh term a plus six d is equal to nine. We don't know a and we don't know d, so we cannot solve. So for this, we have to do. We don't know the two variables. For this, we have to apply elimination method to solve the pair of linear equations in two variables. These are equations in two variables. Variables are a and d. Here are also variables a and d. There are two equations. So let us apply elimination method. Write one below the other. A plus two d is equal to five. A plus six d is equal to nine. Now look at the coefficient of the variable. Here coefficient of a is already equal. Here it is one. Here also one. So if you change the sign, it is enough. Because if you keep as it is, then one a plus one a that becomes two a. So we have to change the sign. to cancel this a now change the sign change the sign of all the terms of the second equation now 1a minus a is 0 plus 2d minus 6d put the sign of bigger number that is minus 6 minus 2 is 4d is equal to 5 minus 9 put the sign of bigger number minus 9 minus 5 is 4. So d is equal to 
minus 4 by minus 4. Minus by minus is plus, 4 by 4 is 1. So d is equal to 1. We got the value of one variable. Now you can find the value of another variable. That is by substituting, substitute d is equal to 1 in any one of the equation. Equation 1 or 2. Equation 1 is a plus 2d is equal to 5. We don't know a plus 2 into d is 1 is equal to 5. That is a plus 2 is equal to 5. a is equal to 5 minus 2. So a is equal to 3. Now we got the value of a and d. a is 3. d is 1. Now you can write the AP. Therefore, AP is, what is the general form of AP? General form of AP is A, A plus D, A plus 2D, A plus 3D, and it goes on. Now substitute the value of A, 3. Here 3 plus, what is D? 1. Here 3 plus, 2 into 1. Here 3 plus 3 into 1. So 3 comma 3 plus 1 4. 3 plus 2 into 1 is 2. 3 plus 3 into 1 is 3. So AP is 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6. And it goes on.